Hi. How are you? I hope you're well. Me and you, we're, we're here again on YouTube. Yeah. I cannot, I can't be too loud because my mum, she's sleeping. And my grandfather, he's sleeping. And my sister, she's sleeping. Although I thought that I would make this video now as opposed to later because I'm able to do it now before I begin some fun playtime answering some questions and stuff. So over the last few days we have began a new study and that study is As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. Have you heard of it? No? Me neither until my friend Emmanuel decided that this is what we are going to be studying. So now, yeah, we are studying it. And it's been really good so far. Really good. I have enjoyed it. And the main point that I have enjoyed and the main point that I would like to share with you is pretty much in the actual title of the book. As a man thinketh, dot dot dot, he becometh. So as a man thinks, as a woman thinks, you become, I become. Although, I think this is nothing too new for you. You are aware that your thoughts create who you are. You are aware now, if you have been following the videos, that you are what you think. I am that I am. And with that, something that James Allen has beautifully written for all of us is this point or analogy of where basically have you heard of the expression or not even expression but just the saying as such that tend to your garden so say your mind like my mind is my garden then we want to have a lovely garden, right? We want to have a place that feels good to be in. You, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to have a place to feel good in? I want to have a place that I feel nice to just to be. Yeah? Awesome. So, with that in mind, I have been working, I say working, I've been helping a friend to create a beautiful garden over the last few days. And it's tough work. Don't get it wrong. To make a pretty garden, to create a space that is beautiful, it takes time, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes effort, and it is not easy. Mm -mm. It's not easy. And what James Allen says is that Basically, if we do not tend to our garden, then weeds will grow. So, if me and you do not look out for thoughts that are not nice about ourselves or about others, then this garden, 
i.e. our minds, our heads, is not going to grow favorably. It's not going to be as nice a place as it potentially could be. And so, me and you, we have a choice. And this is now where the Thoughts for Life part comes in. When I heard that, I really, really, really thought about how perhaps I am able to think that my garden is wherever I am. Because my mind is wherever I am. My garden is wherever I am because the thoughts that constitute my reality is wherever I am. And whatever I am interacting with is the garden that I am creating at that time. And so in order to make a nice garden, if I now, as I am going to consciously remind myself that, hey, this is my garden, this is my garden. When something happens that perhaps I was unexpecting, this is my garden. And by doing so, perhaps I am going to be able to cultivate more favourable thoughts. Yeah? And the only other part from the book about self-mastery was by Robert Greene was social intelligence. So, at times, me and you, we can let our emotions overrule us. And every interaction that me and you have will ultimately come down to the level of social intelligence that we currently perceive with. So if you do not think that something is okay, likelihood is you're not going to do it. Although if you think it's okay to interject, to jump in front of someone to say your point at a particular time, then you're going to do it. Although it will depend on perhaps who you are with and the context of the situation. So, yeah, social intelligence is really, really important. The right presence, the right body language, the right composure, and It is just good to think how others are to potentially perceive you. Don't overthink. It's nothing to overthink. Although it's something that I believe is good to think about. Hence, if you watch this video, it's good to think about it. As I'm thinking about it now. Aside from all that... That is it for today, folks. So, yeah, it's Saturday. So I hope you have a beautiful Saturday ahead. I do, I do, I do. And continue to just be as you are. 
things are tough now things are changing more than they ever have been things are perhaps not going the way you would like things are perhaps not as you would like them to be although it is what it is and so with that the garden is as it is now the garden you see is the garden that is here the world is how it is and so now we can focus on making it a better place and the way we can focus on making it a better place is by focusing on ourselves and ensuring our own well-being so please be kind to yourself be true to yourself remain to have and set boundaries for yourself do not give yourself away do not give yourself away adios muchachos